So, dual blades. I'm not really a dual blades player. I made the great sword. I started the game with charging blade. I played with a bow. I'm pretty good. I played with a long sword. I'm pretty good. But <sighs> dual blades was always something that I didn't do really good at. And what happened was, it's my friend and hunting partner on here, Mintwick. Um, both on Undisputed Misfits. He taught me a little button combination that works incredible, and he came up with this build that I think is fantastic. Now, anybody that knows the dual blades um, knows that they actually have a built-in razor sharp, uh, well, not spare sharp, but razor sharp. So one in every three hits is the only ones that actually count towards uh, losing your sharpness. However, we have a theory that razor sharp skill will actually stack on top of that as well. And our theory was based off of this build. He came up with this. He actually was using the Nargakuga uh, dual blades, which are really nice for this because they have a ton of purple sharpness anyways. But I kind of like the basal ones with it. You get purple sharpness. You still have fairly good attack uh, to 385 um, with 270 blast element and 40% affinity. Now, I don't have crit status on this, and I'm not running an Apothecary Mantle, because I actually watched the Monster Hunter Math Guys video that was talking about how status applies, and only one in three hits actually applies status. Unless you're wearing an Apothecary Mantle, then it applies it every time, if you crit. So, you would need 100% affinity, apothecary mantle, and crit status in order to be fairly effective with uh, status. Element works differently, but this build is just kind of nice anyway. So you got max crit eye, you got three levels of weakness exploit, putting us up to 90% affinity. Three levels of handicraft just to get us into that purple sharpness, a, a fair chunk and a healthy amount. Latent power is just kind of a bonus. I, latent power is okay. And it does seem to work better in Iceborne than it did in original Monster Hunter, but in, in World. But I don't heavily rely on it. Uh, now with the new latent power bonus you can get with Ruzan Ogre, it's, it's fairly okay. But anyways, two levels of Blast Attack, one level's built into the armor, another one I got slotted in. Heat Guard's built into the armor, but kind of nice, I always forget cool drinks. Fortify. Very nice. If you do faint, you got two faints, you come back stronger. Flinch Free is very nice with the dual blades. It's helpful when you're fighting with other teammates because you're getting right in on the monster. And if they end up clipping you and knock you out of any sort of combination you're doing, it could just be annoying. So this is a lot better. I have a level of tool specialist on there and then a couple pieces on the glider mantle to help Temporal come back faster. I like Temporal. The fitting is sliding, always nice, especially if you're Beyblading or anything. Um, with the dual blades. And there's that razor sharp spare shot. We're getting that through the razor sharp charm. I, we're wondering if it stacks. It could very well, it may not. But I'm curious about it. And then, you know, I got a level of part breaker and a level of tremor resistance. That's just kind of bonus going on with the maintenance that I have on the glider mantle. And uh, Master's Touch and Mind's Eye. Uh, Two-piece Rajang, that's going to be very nice. It keeps you from bouncing at all if you are hitting any uh, non-weak points. And then the Master's Touch, if you are hitting weak points, you got 90% affinity, a chance not to lose your sharpness. So I stay in purple sharpness pretty much through an entire fight. The one big downside on this build is the negative 19 versus ice. <laughs> very painful. So if you end up using that, you not really going to be going up against Legiana or anything like that, but especially not against Valkana, uh, unless you're good with the dual blades, better than me. And the negative nine against water's kind of a downside too, but I've actually used this against Namiel, the Elder Dragon of Water, and just about killed her. I did faint twice. Uh, I came back on, on the third one, and I decided to switch it up to a Grey Sword build to finish her off, but it did not take long. I think in the first true charge combo I did, she was dead. So, this is a very powerful build. 
I enjoy it a lot. A lot of monsters can be affected by blast regardless, and when it does proc, I'm doing almost 300 blast. I think it actually does proc up 300 damage. So we're going to run this on a test run. And see what you guys do. Misfits YouTube channel. Um, came up with this uh, dual blade. Don't wanted to share it, so here we go. Uh, I don't have the armor augmented and fully upgraded. I don't even have the weapon augmented, so obviously this could be a little better. But I like the like the uh everything else that I came up with that the armor and as the offer with the dual blades. In this set I got the Uga dual blades and tomahawk twos. In the headset I got the golden headdress uh from <clears throat> excuse me from Rajang. Rajong and the Kaiser Mel B plus the Kaiser Van Braces B plus and Kaiser Coil B plus from Geostra and the Golden Hakama Alpha from Rajang. And then I also have for the charm is a sharp fair shot. A glider mantle plus coral mantle. So, these are pieces I get the mind ballistics and then the Kaiser, of course, I get the master's touch. <clears throat> and then, thanks to this razor sharp charm, I get razor sharp shot. So, I got three things to help my sharpness from dwindling down on me to keep this up as much as possible. See the future! Oh, I did have a kid! If I was a child! So rich is his perfect form! Go ahead and talk to the comic guy! Go ahead, he's the strongest in the universe! But still doesn't do crap! So let's just do, um... Let's just run a nice little optional arena quest here against, uh... What do we got? Somebody higher up. Is there a Rathalos? Is it a Glavinus? I think I'll go run. Uh, we'll run against the Zerathalos. See if we can get some good trips in here and, uh... Really, really do some damage to this. Yeah, feline insurance, why not? We'll get some attack up large. So after eating for attack up large, that puts us into 400 range for 406 attack, 40% affinity still, which is putting us at 90%. You know, so, pretty good. Pretty good. And obviously, being that I'm going to be in uh, the arena, I'm not really going to get any sort of use out of hills, and I won't be able to really use Affinity Sliding, but uh, that's okay. I'm going to give this a shot anyways. So I'm bringing my dash juice. The button combination that my friend told me about, and really made it so I truly enjoy the dual blades a whole lot more, you can infinitely run through this combination. If you're running Rocksteady Mantle, or if you have earplugs or anything like that, as long as you don't get hit and flinched out of the combo that you're doing, you can run it infinitely. You go into demon mode, and you just keep doing B, Y, Y on the Xbox controller. If you guys are playing on uh, PlayStation 4, then you, you know, obviously do circle, triangle, triangle. And after that, you go right back into circle, triangle, triangle, circle, triangle, triangle. Now, if you have stones, you can throw in a left trigger, uh, or L2, in order to get that uh, slinger ammo evade, which is nice. Uh, that can reposition you. But when you run out of stamina, normally you go out of demon mode and you got to charge your stamina back up. With this combination, it won't stop. You can keep going even when your stamina goes out. It's unbelievable. He 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 was doing one uh, a run uh, on the test pole 
um, in the training area. And he was able to do it back and back and back and back and back and back. So basically for a minute or more, just until essentially he ended up losing out on the combo a little bit. Then I also realized as long as you keep doing the y, YB combo that I was just showing you, you never leave demon mode once you start it, as long as you don't get flinched, hit, or roared out of it. Uh, well, anyways, I'll show you. It, I mean, there's, of course, monsters are going to probably knock, find a way to knock you out of it at some point, but you can go on for basically forever in demon mode. Still have a stamina bar. Well, I'm still in demon mode. It hasn't made me stop. Put my blade the other way. Start using my charged blade. But all you see is it's still staying up fully red. And I can go on this doing this forever. Until I'm getting till I'm hit roared out of it. So yeah, I could go on forever doing that, but I'm going to end it here. But that's what I have to show you guys. and Hope you guys uh, thought this was useful. And hope you enjoy it. Ah, so like I said you guys. Not really a dual blade player. I'm not as good at it as I am with most other weapons. But. This actually works really well. I can't believe I screwed that up. Okay, here. There you go. Hey! hey. Alright. Right into the demon flurry. Oh, thank you, Temporal. I might as well jump into another demon flurry since I got Temporal. Now it's gone. I gotta play a little bit safer, but I'm still okay. Oh, no, sleep. <laughs> nice. Now this is really nice when you do have other teammates on here with you. And, you know, obviously you're doing uh, a lot more damage. You know, I'm actually going to take advantage of this. Uh, get a nice aerial hit. There we go. Let's say it's more difficult to mount with the uh, dual blades because they don't do as much damage. I'm mostly just doing this so I can get the extra map. Thanks, Pierce. Nice flinch. There we go. Another flinch. And going for the knockdown. Focus on the head. The, the numbers are pretty decent. Like, I really enjoy it. And when you get the uh, that extra blast proc, when you get the. Uh, well, like I said, I think it's 300. I get roared out of this, yeah. It's alright though, I think I'm in a good enough position. Nope. <laughs> uh, well, there's that latent power, so now that's gonna kick in. Uh, now, that right there pushes up to 70% affinity and 413. So that's not, that's not bad either, right? I mean, get some decent sling right now. Uh, oh! <laughs> nice shot. Ah, uh, now I'm stuck. It's probably gonna kill me. 
Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. Wow, how am I still alive? I'm gonna be if I don't get this max potion. Let's get another flinch out of you. I apologize, you guys. I'm really not that great with the. There we go, with the dual blades. Woo! And I had distance there, but either way. Oh come on! Dragonators up. Do we get a trip? No? There it is. Alright, take a look at my stamina bar, guys. Now, obviously, I'm missing a lot of these hits, but I'm just doing it again. Now it'll finally go out of demon mode. Look at that! That's insane! I had no idea about that. He told me about that, and I thought he was kidding at first. He said, my stamina's not going down. I'm like, you're, you're kidding me. He said, no, man. <laughs> so, the other thing I wanted to show, and I don't know how many people know this, but you notice I didn't really try very hard on keeping anything to keep my stamina up. I don't have a, you know, stamina up. I don't have uh, uh, constitution. I don't have the uh, stamina surge. Something like that to help keep my stamina from draining faster. Or anything like that. I think resentment or something like that can necessitate help with my stamina depletion, but not necessary but notice between having the charge your blades charged and what stamina you're given you don't really need much more than that with dual blades I can't I need to get off the flash pods first uh, will it? nope but Let's set up a nice little trap here while we're still in the coral. We'll get the Dragonator off you. You missed. Come on. Come on. Right here. Are you kidding me? Now I got the tamest Rathalos ever. All of a sudden. Oh no, he's, he's, he's an injured Rathalos. Let's send you over here and do a little bit of this. There we are. And we'll take the tail while we're at it. Yep, oh, alright, didn't need that demon flurry. <laughs> That's alright. Let's do this. Now he's flying again. I wonder if he can get flashed again now. He can, but not out of the sky.
<laughs> Multiple times now you could have had No Hello Oh yeah Jeez. Uh, so, like I said, you guys, I am terrible at the dual blades, but I can still make this work. Okay, come on. Are you serious right now? Ow. Oh, okay. Now you're gonna fly again. Oh no, you're not. Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> catch <you. laughs> uh, the poison. Well, he's about dead now, anyways, but either way. Alright, so that puts me up to 449 now and 1019 defense. We broke the 1000 barrier. All in all, pretty decent. And, and guys, keep in mind, nothing's upgraded yet. Like, I have. I don't even think I have an augment on the dual blades. Um, if I did, I can, I'd be at the 50% with that. Alright, let's just jump on your face real quick and get knock down here, because I'm kind of like sick of you. Alright. Oh, I did tenderize the face there, too. Okay, well, there goes the stamina, and, uh, demon mode's out now, but... That took him down a pig, didn't it? I figured we'd probably get finished off pretty quick there. Felt like we did a lot of damage on the first round before the faint. Either way, like, ooh, Rathalus Ruby. <laughs> nice. Either way, like I said, I am not that great with the dual blades, guys. You can probably see by the way I play. Somebody that is proficient with the dual blades, I'm sure, can go in and really decimate. Um, but yeah. Pretty handy. Alright, when we head back, I'll show you how I have my, uh, what armor and layers I get, and uh, jewels I have set up. Everybody, my hunting partner on here, Midwick, he had a main profile on here that he had worked on for a long time since Monster Hunter World came out. He is the one that got me into this game, it started my passion. Now, uh, recently there was an Xbox Live update, or an Xbox Live service issue, I'm sorry. Uh, we were in the middle of playing this game, and it kicked him off mid-game, all of a sudden. Said that it needed to perform the update in order to uh, continue playing the game. It was an Xbox service 
uh, issue that essentially what happened he got disconnected and when he went to load back in it wouldn't let him log on to his profile he tried connecting to Xbox Live went back in it connected it showed that it connected he went to go into his profile and it wasn't there he went to start a new game and go into something else what happened was is when it went in to start a new game <sighs> The start a new game autosave overwrote his old autosave, his his main save on his Xbox, on Xbox Live, the cloud, everything overwrote it. So he ended up losing about 1,100 hours of Monster Hunter World Iceborne gameplay, or Monster Hunter World gameplay, and starting in on Iceborne and had so much. So I am currently helping him to rebuild, guys. This is a rip tribute from Midwork. He's the one that came up with this build. He's the one that started me on this game. His main profile is gone. But fear not. I will help him to arise to a great power again. We will not surrender. We will continue to fight every monster that ever comes out. It's on. All right. That's my tribute. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, so let me go over here and show you the decorations and, uh, and uh, equipment we have on here. Oh, uh, I kill me. Alright, so here we are. Um, got my basil dual blades. These are fully leveled. Like I said, I don't think I've augmented them yet. Got uh, good old Rajang for the headpiece uh, with expert jewel on there. You want your affinity up as much as possible, guys. That's the main thing you want to focus on. Now, take a look at this. I can actually, if I if I end up getting a level four handicraft one, I can drop that out and throw that in there. Uh, the the brace is to have the the extra flinch free, which is so nice, and and to have flinch free and maintenance, like this is perfect. Uh, to throw and that's when I have the the, the other part breaker and you know, uh, the tremor resist on the glider mantle because that pairs up with the other two maintenance jewels. So while my glider mantle is equipped, which goes for 180 seconds. Um, it's speeding up the recharge on my Temporal Mantle, which usually takes forever. And the recharge time on this is only 120 seconds. Two minutes, guys. It comes back super fast. Usually by the time my Temporal Mantle is up, uh, or the monster moves to another area, then that regenerates, and I'm all set. Uh, yeah, nice thing is, is you can mix and match this for, um, other dual blade builds as well. You can throw in, you know, if you have a slider in Vitality or you want to get rid of slider, you don't want the Fortitude. I just have these in here because they're nice bonus bonus uh, skills to have. Um, but three pieces of Kaiser. I got the chest, arms, and feet. I think that give me the best skills to go in with. That's where some of the latent power comes from, but good slot usage too. Uh, and then the two pieces of Rajang. They give us the Mind's Eye. And that gives us a full weakness exploit. Now I realize I'm losing out a little bit. I actually have four of weakness exploit on here. But it's it's the bonuses of the armor that we're going for as well. The mind's eye, the master's touch, you know you uh, and the razor sharp charm, if you don't want to run through with the extra razor sharp, if if it doesn't stack, I I don't know if that's the case. If if I find out for some way that that doesn't stack, maybe I'll send in something to Monster Hunter Math Guys, see if they can tell me. <laughs> But if I find out some way that that doesn't stack, then you can always change that out for a handicraft charm and then throw on your other, take off your other handicrafts here and throw on other three skills. You know, whatever the case may be. But there you have it, guys. It's a build I like to use for dual blades. I'm going to start off um, showing uh, combos I like to use while using the dual blades. How I like how I prefer to use them, and then you can keep an eye on my sharpness and notice it. Oh, when I was using it just a few, few minutes ago, it hasn't even dropped at all, so I, I haven't even sharpened before I started this video. But. Oops. Keep pressing the B button too many times. Alright, I got my thing charged up, so once my stamina runs out. Yeah. 
So basically all I'm doing is just like pressing Y two or three times and then pressing the B button to do my spin move. When you're going up against the monster, it's really nice to have that spin move help dodge attacks and move your way around the monster. And then whenever you, as long as you got your sword charged up, you basically will it's almost like staying in demon mode, but you're just slightly slower, but keep doing the YB moves. I pressing Y two or three times and then press B. And then when your charge runs out, you go back into demon mode and start it all over again. I'm not doing the best job here since I am not used to doing videos like this. I'm trying to focus on talking and showing and not necessarily not doing the best job at it. And if you notice, I start I don't even think he's moved. Got the Naga Kuga dual blade. All that purple sharpness and the attack bonus from it is kind of. You probably never have the sharpening with this setup. 